Okay, this is from Pumi. Um, we're running out of time. I've got like 27 minutes. Okay, Pumi, here we go. Right. It says, study the diagram below of the sequence of events. Oh, by the way, what I was thinking of, let me put a normal pen down before I scratch this Wacom. I'm going to put up a schematic after, as soon as I get back home, I'm going to put up a schematic of the whole menstrual cycle and the hormones for you. It's one that I did for myself so that I was able to explain easily to my learners. Okay, so I'm going to put that schematic up and I hope it helps you. But I'm just going to take a photo and then put it in. All right, so here we go. Study the diagram below of the sequence of events that takes place from fertilization of the ovum to the development of the embryo um, in a part of the female reproductive system. The arrows indicate the direction of the development. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Guys, you've got to think about me when you send these horrible diagrams in. Okay, wow. Okay, so this goes here. Um, and then this here does this. And then it goes. And this is nice and thick. Okay, so what are we looking at? Do you know yet? We have this little guy. This is A. And then we have this little one and we got lots of little things all around it and they crowding in here and this is b and then this goes from there next one is this one and then this one and then This is D. I'm missing C. Oh, this one's C. Okay. And then this little one goes to that's E. And then this goes to. Okay, look, I'm not drawing all the detail they have in this diagram. But yeah, here we go. And this one goes ching. And then we have this little guy. And this is a layer of cells here. Um, and this grows in here like that. Looks like a little moon landing. Little moony. Very cute. It's like a little astronaut sitting inside here, this little moon buggy. Okay, so that's E. And this here is F, and it does this. Okay, and this is G, and this is H. Okay, labels. First, 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 labels. Number one, this here is our ovum, and our ovum's always going to be haploid. Then here, these little guys are all your sperm cells. And they are all trying to get into this little egg cell to fertilize it. So here is um, what, probably fertilization. And C is the diploid zygote. I love this diagram. Okay. Um, D is a two cell. Uh, um, two cell division. Okay, and what happens here? It's going to be by mitosis. Because remember, after fertilization takes place here, this diploid zygote must now go undergo mitosis for growth and development. So it goes from two cells to four, a four cell structure, um, two cell, let's just call it a two cell structure, to a four cell structure, to an eight cell structure, and then it goes, gee, 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 gee. then it ends up becoming a marula. And then from a marula, it goes to a blastocyst. And the blastocyst is this little thing that looks like a moon buggy over here. 
Okay. Uh, oh, we haven't finished labeling. Okay, this is our marula. Like marula fruit. And then uh, F is the endometrium. And this endometrium is going to be glandular and vascular and thick. It's full of tissue. Okay, so that F is your endometrium. G is our blastocyst. Okay, and you see it's got this little cavity in here. And then H are your chorionic villi. All right, let's boogie, guys. Okay, identify structure C. Structure C, diploid zygote. Haploid sperm, haploid egg cell, diploid zygote when fertilization has taken place. The stage of embryo development at E, it's called a, look here, marula. All right, the structure that develops from a combination of parts F and H. Okay, from a combination, if I take F plus H, the chorionic villi are from this little blastocyst. And F is the endometrium. So we have endometrium plus the chorionic, chorionic villi, where that grows in here into the endometrium, equals placenta. Because remember, your placenta is made up of the cells from the embryo, which is the chorionic villi, and it's made up of the endometrium from the, the, from the uterus. So the two together, that's where you're going to have your placenta. And at 12 weeks, folks, at 12 weeks, the placenta is completely developed and it takes over the function of producing progesterone. So your placenta is also glandular and it produces progesterone, which means that the poor corpus luteum is no longer required and it simply just shrivels up and disintegrates. Okay, um, name the process that takes place at B, at B, at B, at B. Ah, what process takes place here? Fertilization. We have a little sperm cell nucleus, which is haploid, plus a ovum nucleus, which is also haploid, equals a diploid zygote. How easy is this? Come on, you have to admit it. Come, 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 come. I know, I know it's easy. All right, then. Name the processes. We've got B is fertilization, and when G attaches to F, when G, the blastocyst, attaches to the endometrium, we call that here is called implantation. Implantation. What is implantation? It's when the blastocyst grows chorionic villi that attach into the endometrium so that that little, little fertilized egg doesn't just go ping out. Okay, then give the chromosome number of D. Okay, so what is chromosome number of D going to be? It's going to be diploid. Why? Because fertilization has taken place. Your ovum is haploid. Fertilization takes place. Your diploid is there. Diploid, zygote, 2N, okay? And your chromosome number of cell A, cell A is going to be haploid. And haploid is N. Why? Haploid, it's only going to have one set of chromosomes, whereas if it's diploid, it has two sets of chromosomes. End of question. I mean, wow, hello, we are rocking.